this is very, very pertinent for current time with COVID infections uh, staying at a high level and going up and down caused a lot of impact on our uh, day-to-day life, but also significantly affecting health. So we, as, as part of the International Myeloma Society's work, um, joined together globally to collect data from each of the major countries and understand what drives the disease, COVID, uh, in patients with myeloma, the outcome and um, factors that may be utilized to treat disease better, meaning myeloma, but also try and see how we can prevent uh, COVID from seriously affecting these patients. And what we um, uh, uh, we did was we had 650 patients with plasma cell disorder, majority of symptomatic myeloma, and evaluated them. And these were the patients who were hospitalized, so they were more sick. Uh, and in these patients, um, and the, the median age was 69 uh, nine years, so a typical myeloma patient population. Um, and 36% of them were diagnosed recently when we studied them. Um, and 54% of those patients were receiving the first line treatment. The, the point at that time being uh, that um, the disease can happen at an earlier stage of the disease, doesn't have to have relapse refractory late stage disease where one would think immune system may or may not be as good. Now, this was very sick patients, so mortality was higher. Um, uh, 33% patients died, but there was a significant geographic variation. This was in the earlier part of the year when this study was performed, before the vaccine came about. So I think these numbers are much better um, uh, in, in general myeloma patient population. What came out of this study was, in a multivariate analysis, that the factors this affected outcome included age, high risk of uh, high risk multiple myeloma, patient having renal disease, and suboptimal myeloma control, and these were independent predictors of adverse outcome with COVID-19 infection. This is the bottom line message, and and what one would distill from this, and we had an editorial on that, which suggests that do not compromise myeloma treatment because of COVID-19. In fact, controlling myeloma is one of the most important predictor of improved outcome in this disease. So initially when COVID happened, there was thinking that we should hold off to chemotherapy, et cetera, because that may predispose patient more. On the contrary, giving appropriate treatment is important consideration in this patient population. And the careful consideration should be given to patient and disease related factor to decrease the risk of acquiring, acquiring COVID-19 infection and, um, and the outcome that is associated with it. Now, um, we are into a different era. We, are, we have access to, treat, uh, to vaccines. And um, it's important that patients do get vaccinated and um, that will prevent um, uh, to a significant extent getting infection, et cetera. So our society also has come up with recommendation for anti-COVID-19 vaccination. And the important component here is um, that um, all myeloma patients are at risk and they should all be considered for vaccination. And that vaccine does help uh, majority of the patient. Now, the response to vaccine could be variable depending upon uh, uh, their status, uh, immune status, et cetera. Uh, not every patient would have a similar response as those without myeloma, but getting vaccination is an important preventative measures for all patients. Patients who are on some treatment that affect the B cell function, bites and others, may have a lesser chance of response. So although not recommended, uh, measuring response could be one of the uh, things that one can keep in mind as more data becomes available. Now, the types of vaccine to be used, the mRNA-based vaccines are safe for utilization. And similarly, um, pending any significant other safety insight, the non-replicating adenoviral vectors uh, by AstraZeneca or Janssen uh, and, and, and uh, ad antigen adjuvant vaccines such as Novax vex are also considered um, uh, relatively safe in this patient population. Um, the timing of vaccine should be as soon as vaccine is available and there is no need to wait. The only uh, consideration 
um, is uh, that um, uh, uh, that vaccine component patients should not be allergic to, and, and that one has to keep it in mind. Um, there are detailed guidelines that are out uh, on the International Myeloma Society's uh, um, website. However, um, uh, patients whose myelomas are stable, we recommend holding therapy um, where, where holding therapy is not a concern um, and vaccinating. However, patients on maintenance with lenalidomide can continue. Main uh, agent that we recommend holding is dexamethasone. And again, this is within the context of managing myeloma effectively. So if that is the issue, continuing treatment, uh, myeloma treatment is of utmost importance. But when we can hold, um, we should hold before the first vaccine till 10 days after vaccine. If that is too long, then at least the three weeks with the first vaccine, um, and then we can continue with the treatment and the second vaccination, keeping in mind that first vaccination also in, in patients without myeloma provides significant uh, immune responses. Um, and, and then finally, there is some concern about IVIG and the vaccine, and we currently recommend holding IVIG, which may sometimes blunt the immune response. So that is an important component uh, of uh, the treatment. Uh, in regards to transplant, for example, if considering vaccination post autologous stem cell transplant, then I would wait three months. Um, if pre-transplant vaccination, then I would plan to complete vaccination before stem cells are collected. So the immune cells are also transferred um, following connection, collection. So I think um, um, number of studies are needed to gauge how are the level of responses following vaccination, et cetera. And there are ongoing studies which I would recommend uh, everyone to participate if one available close to where you will, uh, where patients live in, in your area. Um, uh, and, and the bottom line is that despite vaccination, taking the usual measures, um, social distancing, uh, um, et cetera, wearing masks um, is critically important for our patients.